Hello and welcome to Doctor's Orders here at the Chrissy B Show. I'm Dr. Rob Hicks. Today we're going to be talking about diabetes, or to give it its medical name, diabetes mellitus, which simply means that there's too much sugar in the blood. To get sugar out of the blood into the cells so it can be used as energy relies on a hormone called insulin. It acts very much like the key to a, a door. If you think of insulin as the key, you need to unlock the door for glucose, sugar, to go from the blood into the cells. Now the problem in diabetes, in type 1 diabetes, there's no insulin. In type 2 diabetes, there's either not enough insulin or the insulin that there is doesn't work properly. So the result is the sugar can't get out of the blood into the cells and so it builds up in the bloodstream and that's where the problems start. Too much sugar in the bloodstream damages the arteries, it damages the nerves and that increases a person's risk of suffering heart attacks, strokes, kidney damage, blurred vision and visual problems and in men erectile dysfunction. Now in type 1 diabetes this is what we call an autoimmune condition. This is where for some reason, we don't know quite why, the body turns on itself and damages the organ called the pancreas that makes the insulin. In type 2 diabetes, the major risk factor is being overweight and not having enough exercise. Also for type 2 diabetes, if you come from a certain ethnic background, so if you're South Asian, if you're African Caribbean or you're Chinese, you're also at greater risk of developing diabetes. And if there's a family history of diabetes, then again, you're more likely to develop the condition. So what symptoms should you be looking out for? Well, people with diabetes, they feel thirsty and despite drinking lots of liquid, they still feel thirsty. They pass a lot of urine more frequently than usual and often at night. They lose weight for no apparent reason. They feel tired. They may find that their vision is blurred. Normal cuts and grazes that would ordinarily heal quite quickly tend to take much longer when somebody's got diabetes. And people with diabetes often find that they get recurrent attacks of genital thrush infection. Even when they've had the right treatment, the infection comes back. Now, thankfully, there's lots of things that can be done to help manage and keep the blood sugar under control and therefore reduce the chances of suffering these often fatal complications of diabetes. So for type 1 diabetes, people are reliant on having insulin injections. But for type 1 and type 2 diabetes, lifestyle is very, very important. In fact, if you reduce your weight, you're less likely to develop type 2 diabetes in the first place. So that means eating a healthy diet and doing regular exercise. Now with type 2 diabetes, in addition to lifestyle, medication is often needed and sometimes people need to have insulin as well. So if you're worried that you may have diabetes, maybe you've got some symptoms, maybe you've got a family history of diabetes, or you just like to be checked, then do have a chat with your own doctor who will be more than happy to talk you through the process of having a urine test and some blood tests to see whether you have diabetes or not. And that's Doctor's Orders.